Hi, and welcome to GoAskIra.com. So, it's that time of year again. You know, it's getting nice, and I'm taking the food outside onto the grill. One of the things that I like to do here at Go Ask Ira is I want to show you how things work. I, there's a lot of great products out there, but a picture's not really going to tell you what it is. So one of those products that I really like for the grill is a ribolator. So this is a ribolator tray, and you get four of these. And they gave, give you a little cross piece that is a cross that mounts on your uh, rotisserie spit. And so what happens is if my grill is sitting here this way, four of these are making a carousel of my grill. So it's a food carousel. Could have been what it was called, but I didn't name it, somebody else did. So this is the new updated version. Um, it's a little more money than, than the original, but it is expandable. So the first version, which I have somewhere, and my wife who, um, she calls it organizing. I call it hiding. She likes to hide my stuff. Has organized my original ribolator somewhere that I have yet to be able to find it. I have a 36 inch grill. And when I would use the original ribolator, I could do four racks of ribs. So, so each, each ribolator was about the size of a rack of ribs, maybe an inch or two longer. So I really couldn't do much of anything but a ribolator. Maybe I could get two chicken drumsticks on each end. And when they came out with the expandable ones, I, I was very happy because now I, I can go that size. And we have. We, we just recently did that. Um, we did four racks of ribs and something like uh, four pounds of chicken wings and drumettes. And I still had a little bit of room. So this, this is awesome for that. The other thing that, that I think can be useful for this is, and I'm not 100% sure of this, but I think that's actually smaller than the original Ribolator. So if you happen to have a smaller grill, this might be good for you. So most of what I've cooked on this, or almost all of what I've cooked on this, has been using the indirect heating method, which means I have one of my burners on. So let's have this burner on. And my ribrolator trays are going around over here, but this is where the heat is. So there's no direct heat underneath the, the trays. Um, and being able to size them has really, you know, it, been a wonderful thing. Uh, this past week, we did two racks of ribs and probably the same amount of chicken, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Now, the chicken recipe, and, and I'll give you the chicken recipe. You, you check the, the review, and I'm going to give you this chicken recipe. It's the easiest recipe in the world, and it's dynamite. Okay, But the chicken recipe, the one thing I've noticed is every time we do it, the chicken doesn't look, it's certainly not golden brown. It, it's very light, white, pasty almost. Um, not the most appetizing looking thing. It's delicious. But, you know, they say that, that the first impression we taste with our eyes. Um, so what I did this week is I shrunk the, the trays down from, you know, about here to about here. And instead of taking all three of the grates off my grill, I left this one on. And since these were rolling around here, this was free. And when the chicken was just about done, I took it all off. I laid it on one side, flipped it to the other, and put it back, and then we served it. And now all the chicken had this gorgeous, delicious brown color with some nice grill marks and stuff really made a visual statement compared to what we've done in the past. Didn't taste any different. But like I said, you know, we taste with our eyes. So the Ribolator is awesome. We have done salmon, we've done burgers, we've done hot dogs, sausages, 
beef ribs, pork ribs, chicken. Uh, I've seen recipes for nachos on this. Take a piece of foil, put it in, put your nacho stuff on. I mean, you could do that right while you're cooking something else in this one and something else in the other two. So if you like to grill and you like to make ribs, this is awesome. You can use it with, a, with any kind of grill. Uh, you can use it with uh, smoke. You can use it with charcoal. You can use it with gas, propane. And it's just going to give you great results. So check out the Ribolator. Anybody who grills is going to love this. You're going to want it. I promise. I do the research so you don't have to. Do I get an invitation to that next barbecue? See you soon.